Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyprus. In this video, we are going to discuss about the package reservation method in Odoo 17 inventory module. So package reservation method refers to the process of allocating the products in a box or containers to fulfill the needs of the customers. So we can manage the package reservation through the product category in Odoo 17 inventory. And Odoo provides two approaches to manage the package reservation. The one is full reservation method and the other one is partial reservation method. So let's deal with the full reservation method first. Let's consider the product pen which has 16 quantity in the stock. And we are just packed all these pens in packet and each packet will have 10 quantity of pen. Let's imagine that we have just received an order from customer for 20 quantity of pen. Here we cannot just deliver the item to the customer because uh, we can only reserve 10 quantity of pen as we have just chosen the package reservation as fully reserved packaging Odoo will only reserve the package in packets or in terms of package so as a customer uh, makes an order for 20 quantity and we have only 16 quantity in our on hand we can only just deliver or reserve the product in case of packets like we can only reserve one packet because we have only one packet in our stock right now and we can only deliver that product to the customer so let's see how can we manage the full reservation method in Odoo 17 inventory to manage with the package reservation let's dive into the inventory module and in the configuration settings we can just search for the product packaging so as you just search for the product packaging you can see our product packaging under sales purchase and inventory so here, first we need to just enable the product packaging uh, under the inventory and you can see that uh, we have already enabled the product packaging so that we can just manage the product in packaging. Like it can be a pack of 10 pencils or 10 pieces and all. Now if either you can just configure the product packaging directly from here and if you want to just sell and purchase this product packaging, you can enable the product packaging uh, under the product catalog and under the purchases so as we have just enabled this now let's consider the product and we know the product cat packaging can be only managed uh, for uh, the uh, product categories like we can reserve the product packaging for the product categories so under the product categories as you just consider the category all here you can see that the reserve packaging so order basically provides two options that is reserve only full packaging and reserve partial packaging now let's consider reserve only full packages and let's consider the product uh, pen. As you just see the product over here with the on hand quantity is set to 6 and here under the inventory tab here you can set uh, the uh, product packaging. So here you can see that each packet of the pen will have 10 quantity and we need to manage the sales and purchase for this and we have just enabled uh, these features over here. Now let's move on to the purchase module and let's see how can we just purchase the item. So here as per the example we know we have currently 16 quantity of pencil. But uh, here we can see that we have currently on hand quantity as 6. Now we are going to just purchase uh, one packet of pencil. So we are going to purchase the item from Azure Interior and you can choose the uh, product which is Technotip. And as we just set the quantity as 10 here, you can see that Odoo will automatically configure the packaging. That is the unit of packaging and uh, quantity as well as the packaging uh, name and all. So that is shown over here and you can find the unit price over here. So now let me set uh, the uh, quantity into 15. And here you can see that the packaging quantity now let's uh, just turn to 1.5. And packing will be having uh, like a pack of 10 will be there but here we only want a uh, 10 quantity which means one uh, packet so that I'll be setting the quantity as 10 and now let's confirm the order and we can just receive the item into our stock and click on validate so that we can just keep the item in the stock now as you just move on to the product here you would be able to find that the on hand quantity will be now updated into 16 now let's make an order for the product here we have just received an order for from the customer for 20 quantity of technotype so you can just move on to the sales module in order to create this so here under uh, the customers you can ch just choose a customer as decoded and decoded has placed an order for 20 quantity 
of product. Here we know that we have only the on hand quantity as 16. As we don't have sufficient quantity, you can see this will be indicated in a red color and this shows the forecasted quantity and the available quantity. Here we know the available quantity is 16 so that we can only just make an order for that 16 quantity. So the forecasted quantity will be set to likewise. Now let me remove the uh, sales price and all and afterwards we can just save this and uh, um, yeah uh, let's confirm the uh, order um, before that we just need to update the price because we know we have just given the sales price as 5 so here I'm going to just set the sales price I mean just remove the sales price in order to get the correct sales price and update that and here you can see the unit price is updated to 5 and now let's confirm the order so as we just confirm the order you can see that um, here when we just try to deliver the item to the customer you can see one step is ready here we are just making the uh, delivery in two step here you can see that the customer has placed an order for 20 quantity but we have only reserved 10 quantity here as we said the reservation package as fully packaged we can only deliver the item to the customer in terms of packet and here we know one packet will have 10 quantity as we have only 16 quantity in our on hand we cannot just deliver the item that 16 quantity to the customer instead we can only make 10 quantity to the customer because we have placed 10 quantity in packet in terms of packet so even if you just click on check availability we cannot find any changes over here we can only just validate with this process so if the customer want the rest of the 10 quantity then we can just create a back order if the customer don't want that 10 quantity then we can just go with the no back order then customer has to just forget about the rest of the quantity so this is how we manage with the reservation package in terms of fully reserved packaging so the second package reservation is partial reservation in this method, let's consider the product pencil, which is having 25 quantity of pencil in the stock. And we have just received an order from the customer for 30 quantity. Here we have just packed 10 quantity of pencil in each of the packets. And by using the partial reservation method, we can just deliver the item to the customer. That is the 25 quantity to the customer as we just use the reservation method as partial packaging. So here, Either the customer can go with a back order or without a back order. So if the customer is going with a back order, then uh, once the product is back in stock, which means the rest of the uh, products back in stock, we can just deliver that item th to the customer or the customer can just forget the rest of the product. So let's check the functionality of partial reservation method in order 70. Now let's consider the product pencil to manage with the partial reservation packaging. So as you just get into the internal link of the product category here you can see that we have just set the reserve packaging as reserved partial packaging. So even if we don't have sufficient quantity of the product in the package we can just partially deliver the item to the customers. Now let's move on to the pencils and here you can see that the on hand quantity is currently 5 and now let's see how can we purchase the item and place it in our stock. And as you just move on to the inventory tab, you can find over here that um, we have just set the packaging as pack of 10 and that will contain 10 quantity. Now, you can just back to the uh, purchase module and let's see how can we purchase the items in packet. So let's move on, on to the um, RFQ and here you can choose your winter where you can just set the product with its quantity. So as you just set a 20 quantity over here, you can see that Odo will automatically configure the packaging um, unit and uh, each packet will have 10 quantity of pencil and you can see that the uh, price will be also calculated over here. Now let's confirm the order and let's receive the item to our stock so that you can just click on validate and we have just received 20 quantity of pencil into our stock and altogether you can find that the on hand quantity of the pencil will be now updated to 25. Now here we have just received an order from the customer for 30 quantity of pencil. And let's move on to the uh, quotation and let's create a new quotation for the customer. Here the customer is requiring 
where you can just choose your customer and later on you can just uh, choose the product pencil and later on you can set the quantity as 30 because the customer is going to place an order for 30 quantity and here we can just update the price list also so that you can find the actual price of the product as we don't have sufficient quantity of the product you can see that uh, here this will be indicated in red color because the available quantity or the on hand quantity is just 25 and you can see over there and we can just make an order for that 25 quantity and you can see that forecasted quantity is set to 25 also now let's confirm the order so as we just confirm the order here you can see uh, the customer is placed for three packets of pencil now we can just deliver the item to the customer and here we have uh, the order into I mean we need to just deliver the item to the customer in two step and here you can see that as a customer places an order for 30 quantity of pencil even uh, the reserved quantity is 25 we have only 25 quantity in our stock and that 25 quantity will be reserved and we can just deliver this reserved quantity to the customer so if we if you just click on check availability here you can see that we don't have um rest of the products available in our stock and let's click on validate so here we can just uh, deliver this item to the customer so if the customer is going with uh, a back order then when the product is back then we can just uh, deliver that item to the customer so if the customer don't want the rest of the quantity then the customer can just go with uh, the um, like uh, no, no, no need of that product and here partial packaging is also possible so here currently the customer only required 25 quantity and here you can see that we have just made a partial uh, reservation of the product and just delivered the item to the customer so it's very easy to manage the reserve packaging in Odoo's MT. So the fully reservation method is mainly used by the wholesalers and the partial reservation method is used by the retailers. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the reservation method or the package reservation in Odoo's MT inventory. So as always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.